against Ball. Out left to the wing. Here's the captain. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. The captain's got 11 points. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. We got to now start to anchor down defensively right now. Trust each other and trust the load. It's not just one-on-one -on -one defense. It's together. Ah, a little help from your friends. Billy Donovan preaching it. Are these guys listening? Well, you also have to credit the other team. Obviously, their offensive play calling is having an effect. We'll see what the response is. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. On the court for the Bulls, getting the fourth quarter going. Kobe White out there with ball. Then there's Javon Carter, then it's DeMar DeRozan, and it's Noah in at the five. Good from DeRozan. What impresses me most about DeRozan is his footwork, especially when he's operating around the mid-range. DeRozan hits them both. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's the captain to the left wing. Takes a 13-footer. Again, Milwaukee! Hard to prevent the bigger guy from getting the clean look there. And for Chicago, they're shooting the rock well at 46%. Pass the ball. Here's Noah, defended by Portis. Banked it in off the glass. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Portis the screen. Lots of room. Rebound by the Bulls. Noah's got seven rebounds in the game. You know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying kind of to shut the door on this. Ball outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Free throw is good. That one misses. Allen against White. Left side. Pass to Portis. Over to Rosen. And it's Portis. That time on the assist from Allen. And the Bucks lead by 10. Slick moves inside by Portis to avoid the defense for the hoop. And Rosen against Hunter Kupo. Here's Carter. Shot clock at six. Bulls need to get off a shot. The three from Ball. It's hauled in by Portis. 
Portis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Back to Crowder. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Ooh, Giannis using his length inside. Takes so much work to keep Giannis off the glass. He's got that great length and athleticism. Boy, he's a real problem on the boards. Kupo against DeRozan. Outside Carter. Takes the three. And again, Chicago no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's the captain. Hounded by ball. The captain. That's good. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Now here's ball. Back to White. Here's the pick. Inside. The kick out to Ball. DeRozan outside. Hits a three-pointer. DeRozan's got 20. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Pass to the captain. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jay Crowder. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. Ball outside. Knocked loose. Here's the captain. Pounded by ball. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Allen. Here's the captain. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the long chain. The captain's got 11 points here in the second half. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. Caruso, a screen on Portis. Here's DeRozan. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got rebound number 11. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Anadokounmpo's got 31 points. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Here's Noah, covered by Lopez. Back to DeRozan. Caruso, right side. Here's Ball. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Anadokounmpo. And he lays it up and in. Anadokounmpo has got eight points here in the quarter. Physical defense, nothing new to Giannis because he faces that every night. DeRozan passes to Noah. Back to DeRozan. And they get it. He takes it in. And the layup is up and in. DeRozan's got 22 points. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's Anadokounmpo. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And Chicago gets called for the foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucs. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Another thing they're doing well tonight is shooting from long distance. All game long, they've been finding openings at the perimeter. off on the first. So both teams making some changes here.
he sinks the second. And here's Caruso. Pass to Gasol. Now Carter. Gasol, a screen on Lillard. Four on the clock. Carter finds Gasol. Here's Levine for three. He drops it from range. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Milwaukee is gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Lillard passes to Middleton for three. The rebound by Carter. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by 14. Levine surveys the D. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul of the game. And the Bulls making a change here. DeRozan is checked in. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. Outside Levine. Five to shoot. Levine converts despite the D. Well, this is what you admire about Levine's offensive game now. I mean, it isn't all threes and dunks. He's got some meat on that sandwich now. Lillard double team. Pass to Lopez. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you got to tighten it up on D. Now here's DeRozan. Levine misses the baby hook Lillard against Carter Lillard left side up and over Carter the shot by Lillard no good the Bulls have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter DeRozan outside Levine with a screen on Beasley here's DeRozan the rebound by Beasley. For Milwaukee, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Pass to Lopez. For three, here's Lillard. Gasol grabs the board. Gasol's got rebound number 11. Outside Levine. DeRozan with the ball. Gasol, a screen on under the Kupo. DeRozan finds Gasol. Yep, that one goes. And that's a double double for him now. DeRozan sizing up the situation and making the right read. That's basketball savvy. We call that hoops sense. Timeout called. Milwaukee. in for Beasley. Lonzo Ball's checked in for Chicago. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard from Adrian Griffin as he talked with the team. He implored his team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. Okay, thank you, Allie. Missing. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Milwaukee has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Middleton up top. Hounded by ball. Middleton, no good. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Caruso finds ball. 
They double up ball. Now here's Gasol. On the wing, Levine. Oh, Levine! An aerial assault. Levine, a remarkable scorer, and he can help you in a lot of different ways. Showing it all tonight. Now here's Lopez. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Chicago grabs the miss. Gasol's the Bulls on offense. They're on a 12-4 run. Now DeRozan. Gasol, a screen on Lopez. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, you can be overly physical with Gasol if you want to. It's not going to bother him because he's excellent at drawing foul. Taking two shots. One falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Giannis with the jam. And Antetokounmpo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguarded. Antetokounmpo against DeRozan. Gasol, a screen on Antetokounmpo. DeRozan finds Gasol. And then the jam. DeRozan so in tune with his teammates knew exactly where to find that open man. as his second attempt is no good at the line. Ball with it. Caruso outside. Three-pointer. The offensive rebound. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. The Rosen outside. Gasol, a screen on Anacumpo. The Rosen. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more.
minute 15 left in the final quarter. Ball against Middleton. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Anadokounmpo has got 39. Ball against Lillard. Now here's Levine. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, battling this side, I like Levine's aggressive approach. Tough to match without foul. Zach Levine, two shots. He hits the first one, and that brings him within 10. And the Bucks going with a whole new group out there. Both free throws good from Levine. Here's Milwaukee. They led by as many as 18. Portis with a screen on Carter. Driving to the basket. And yep, it's good. And the Bucks lead by 11. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And that one's good. Yes, hold. Inside, Gasol is deadly. I mean, his height means finding a shot this close, not too much work at all for him. Here's the captain. He's checked by Carter. Here's the captain. And so the Milwaukee Bucks have won the series. And it took seven games, but with this victory, they've wrapped this series up and are moving on to the conference finals. A thrilling, hard-fought series, and they definitely deserve to be moving on after the hard work they put into winning it. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, you said these games start to matter more as you come down the stretch. Can you tell me more about that? Just coming out here try to play good basketball, try to play together, and try to get better. You know, we just try to get in that playoff shape and uh, just get better. Championship always on your mind. Thanks, Giannis. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game. Giannis Antetokounmpo.